One of the thoughts I had, every thought, word, or deed either purifies or pollutes the body. Now this is very important, very powerful, because you're dealing with states of consciousness. And at some point I got rid of all the negative songs that I had in my collection. Even if there was only one negative song on a CD, I got it out. There were some good ones. And, and you have to understand, I listen to country music. And uh, you know how country music is. If you're going to have a CD, well, they always throw at least one tearjerker on it. So I cleared them all out at that time. I threw out, threw it, well, I gave them away. I figured, you know, they would be good for someone because states of consciousness are different. And then I found myself listening more and more, in my case, to classical music, but it doesn't have to be classical for you. But whatever is your form of music or your form of news or whatever, whatever way you, you, you let the, out, the external world into your internal world. If at some point you're finding you need an edge for health or for peace of mind or something of that nature, look to what you're putting out there or what's around you, what's coming in, because what's coming in is going to go back out there. And it's going to, then it bounces like an echo, it comes back to you, goes out there, comes back. And so it strengthens and eventually gets a very strong, has a very strong influence on you. And this influence can be for either beneficial things or harmful things. So the choice is yours. Every thought, word, or deed either purifies or pollutes the body. And it sounds like a simple statement, but it's a powerful one.